Einen schönen guten Abend und willkommen zurück bei The Walking Dead in der Definitive Edition. Ja, wir sind gerade auf dem Weg in die Werkstatt. Und hier das Werkstatttor, das geht doch bestimmt auf. Damn, it's jammed tight. Aber, oder vielleicht auch nicht. Wo geht's denn hier hin? Zaun. Die Betrunkenen laufen da rum. Hallo da. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. You got it. One more. Ugh. For luck. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Toll, Molly. Toll. Gut gemacht. Du hast die Betrunkenen angelockt. Sie sind aggressiv. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Alles klar. Motorhaube. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good das chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Ja, die haben wir doch jetzt schon gesehen gerade, die Batterie. Die ist da drin. It's locked. No way in. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. So, kann ich mit Molly noch mal über den Typen da reden? Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. Die denkt auch, ich bin doof, ne? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. 
I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Die Hilda. I did it. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold them off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Got that one off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Shut the door. Move your ass. Chicken, jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? I glaube, sie hat da noch eine Abrechnung zu erledigen. Schauen wir mal, wie es hier so läuft. Die stehen da immer noch. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Leute, ihr steht da seit einer halben Stunde. each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Now we leave for you. Bree? Hey Lee, thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. 
How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? No. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Wir haben doch die Batterie schon. Ist gut auf Ben aufgepasst. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Gut, dann gucken wir mal, ob die mit äh, die mittlerweile da in der Apotheke drin sind, beziehungsweise im Krankenzimmer. Und ob die da immer noch vorstehen. Und sagen, ja, wir schaffen ja schon sie. Wir haben alles im Griff. Loch. Can't reach it. It's too high up. Warum sollte er da überhaupt raus wollen? Shit. Oh. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. auf einmal her. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Vielleicht steht hier ja doch irgendwo. Krankenakte. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? 
It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Telephone. Phones probably haven't worked in months. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Wahre Worte. Not working. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Was würde er denn kopieren wollen? To take time to rest later, I think. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Muss ich da noch mal rein, raus in die Gasse oder was? There's dried blood on this printout and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. What the hell happened here? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Shorter. Uh, already cleaned out. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon, 
It's okay, we'll figure it out. I've got things to do. Yeah, same here. Ja, alles klar. Dann gehen wir mal wieder in die... Ne, wir folgen mal der Blutspur. Führt, führt hier hin. Aber da kommen wir nicht ran. Dann müssen wir noch mal in die Gasse. Was war das denn? Was ist da jetzt auf ihn draufgefallen? Na Krabbelter. Dann wagen hier was weg. Logan, this must have been his locker. Tape, safe combination has got to be on one of these. Finden wir das mal raus. Found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. 
Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. Take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Alles klar. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Ah, ja, verstehe deswegen. Kann sie ihn nicht, nicht so gut leiden. Oh, war nicht gut auf ihn zu sprechen. Well, shit. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Hat er jetzt in der Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, 
bin? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. <laughs> Shit! Oh, Ben. Wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Wow. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Hat er einfach zwischen der Tür gesteckt, so ganz gut. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I open the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later, after we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Who has got any pets on? Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. <laughs> So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Das ist nicht der Weg Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs!
Komm! Ich kann nicht so lang schauen. It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Was Ben? Ben, come on, let's go. Oh. So einfach nicht, Ben. So einfach nicht. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Ist er tot? Hold on. Is he... Dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Hört sich gut an. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours... 
putting everyone on a boat with no destination. Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Schönen Tag noch, ciao. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Sam, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? Clementine? Don't 
die sich einfach rausgeschlichen hat. Clementine? Clementine! out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? We're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. But I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right. I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this, with only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear?
Alle weg. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Kommt gar keine, was, was als nächstes passiert. Äh, ja, gut, wir gucken uns nochmal die Entscheidungen an. Der Junge auf dem Dachboden. Hast du den Jungen auf dem Dachboden umgebracht? Du und 25%, 25 der Spieler haben ihn umgebracht. Hippokratischer Eid. Hast du Vernon belogen oder bedroht? Du und 58% der Spieler waren rational und aufrichtig. Allein zu Hause. Hast du Clementine mitgenommen? Du und 55% der Spieler haben sie mitgenommen. Wem die Stunde schlägt. Hast du Ben in den Tod stürzen lassen? Du und 53% der Spieler haben ihn hochgezogen. Zeigen des Bisses. Hast du der Gruppe den Biss gezeigt? Du und 82% der Spieler haben den Biss gezeigt. Wer begleitet Lee? Ach, theoretisch hätten sogar alle mitkommen können. Dafür hätte Ben das dann wahrscheinlich nicht ausplaudern dürfen. Dafür hätten wir ihm sagen müssen... Ähm, hätten wir ihm sagen müssen, dass, äh, naja, dass er, dass er doch eine Hilfe ist, als er gesagt hat, er möchte es abwechselnd mal eine Hilfe sein. Naja. Steckt man nicht drin. Damit haben wir die Episode dann auch geschafft und es kommt nur noch, ja, nur noch die finale Episode. Der ersten Staffel. <lacht> Versteht sich. So, die Credits lassen, damit wir noch durchlaufen.
So, das war die vierte Episode von The Walking Dead. Ich hoffe, ihr schaltet beim nächsten Mal wieder ein. Dann geht's los mit der letzten Episode der ersten Staffel. Mein Name ist Tom und bis dann.